Good everyone. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing very well, keeping healthy and safe. I'm doing pretty good on this side of the desk. Today we're going to have a look at this Zeus ZenBook Pro 14 Dual OLED. This is a 14 inch dual screen laptop. Now I've actually reviewed the 16 inch version. If you haven't checked that out, I'll put a link in the description below. Now we'll refer a lot to just the functionality, but it's absolutely fantastic having this dual screen for productivity work and the fact that it is both touch screens you can do a little fun little extra stuff which i'd actually talked about in the 16 inch version of this now there are a few differences in this one. so we're going to look at the temperatures and fan noise we're going to look at some of the speakers and we're also going to have a look at the performance of this 14 inch version now as always i will be putting timestamps along the video so you can skip to a different section that you may be interested to save you time Let's have a look at the ports. Starting on the left hand side of the laptop, we've got the audio combo jack, we've got exhaust vent, that's one of them. And then we've got on the back side, we've got the AC power port, micro SD card slot, full size HDMI port, which is version 2.1, another second exhaust vent. And then on the right hand side of the laptop, we've got the USB type A port, that's USB 3.2 Gen 2. And then we've got two Thunderbolt 4 ports. The displays are one of the highlights of the ZenBook Pro 14 Dual. Now, the first main screen is a 14 and a half inch OLED display. Now, Zeus says this is the world's first 120 hertz or refresh rate 2.8K OLED display, which they say it the 120 hertz provides a better motion clarity and is more brighter and vivid than 160 hertz LCD display and you know what I'm gonna have to agree because I have seen this put next to 165 hertz LCD display which was on a gaming laptop and this does have better clarity it is more vivid and brighter than the LCD display that's no questions asked it has very good sharpness and clarity for text as well now the actual screen pad plus it's a 12 0.7 inch display it is rated to 500 nits or even can go up to 600 nits and wow when i test these both screens out in the sunlight in broad daylight i even though it is a glossy display on the main screen because it's so bright and the clarity of it it just cuts straight through and i didn't have any issues consuming multimedia or even reading text in straight direct sunlight Measuring the color gamut coverage of the main OLED display, it resulted with 100% sRGB coverage, 94.5% Adobe RGB coverage, and 98.3% DCI-P3 coverage. This display is suited for photo and video editing tasks. And measuring the color gamut coverage of the secondary display, the ScreenPad Plus, it resulted with 99.9% .9 sRGB coverage, 91.6% Adobe RGB coverage, and 96% DCI piece free coverage. The ScreenPad Plus does have a maximum brightness rating of 500 nits, but when I measured the maximum brightness, it resulted with 615 candle per screen meter or 615 nits. That is very surprising how bright the ScreenPad Plus can achieve. I did showcase and also demo what you can possibly do or the functionality from the ScreenPad Plus, the secondary display, in an earlier review video of the ZenBook Pro Dual. Absolutely fantastic having the secondary display on hand. The ZenBook Pro 14 Dual comes with two speakers. They are located on the bottom front on either side of the laptop. They are bottom firing speakers. And when I tested out the maximum volume of the speakers, it managed to measure in a peak of 84.2 decibels. I'll consider these in the medium range of loudness for speakers. You don't have any issues in outdoors or at a cafe during a presentation. Now, as for sound quality, now this is something. It has a lot of bass out of these two speaker systems. I was surprised how much bass they managed to get out of these two speaker systems. It was just unbelievable. And it has good mids and highs but it is more balanced to the lows and it is very clear and very punchy it has very good acoustics but overall i'm very surprised how well these speakers sound in a previous video i mentioned that the hp envy had amazing two speaker system and should be used as a benchmark for other computers well this zenbook pro 14 dual speaker system has actually topped it 
the fact that it actually makes that much bass and it's still very good clear and has great acoustic and being punchy this is now the best sounding two speaker system that i've listened to for a laptop this is a recording from the 720p webcam from the Zenbook Pro 14 Dual. This is the video in audio unedited so you can hear and see what the quality of the webcam is like. And as always, I've got two top lights currently turned on. I've got my one studio light turned on and also the down lights in this room turned on for ambience. So I'll turn off my one studio light off. We'll see this how this adjusts. That's very quick there. And the two down lights in front of me is a bit far away, so there's not much light hitting on my face. This is what I consider a dark environment. If you are in an office environment, you should have much more light than what I'm currently at, and I'm gonna turn my one studio light back on. You'll see this adjust, and I think again, just pretty quick. And again, better quality light gives you better quality picture. I definitely love to hear what your thoughts are about this 720p webcam. It comes with a 76 one hour battery, and when I tested out the battery life, it managed to get four hours and 33 minutes for modern office battery life test in PC Mark 10. One hour and 16 minutes for gaming, and four hours and 25 minutes for video playback on the Procon battery life test. The battery results are pretty much on par with a gaming laptop. These do have a very powerful performance components which are power hungry, but this is a dual OLED display laptop. And OLED displays usually chew through a lot more power and these are very bright OLED displays they are, and there's two of them. So taking the dual screen into account, this is doing very good on battery life. Looking at temperatures and fan noise, when I took my measurements, my ambient room temperature was 27 degrees Celsius and the ambient room noise measured in at 35 decibel. Now to give you a reference point, my hand was measured in at 35 to 36 degrees Celsius at this room temperature. So I took my base measurement when the computer was idle and the hottest area on the keyboard measured in at 43 degrees Celsius and the fan noise measured in at 36 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 44 degrees Celsius. Then I put 20% lower, so that's pretty much average use. So it's tasks like office productivity work, surfing the web, streaming video and the hottest area on the keyboard measured in a maximum of 48 degrees Celsius. As for the fan noise, it measured in a maximum of 41 decibels. So you do hear the fan spin up a bit and the average internal core temperatures was 61 degrees Celsius. Then I put 50% load on the computer and the hottest area on the keyboard measured a maximum of 53 degrees Celsius. And the fan noise spun all the way up to 44 decibels. And the average internal core temperature was 66 degrees Celsius. Then I put 100% load on the computer with the fan profile set to performance. And the hottest area on the keyboard again measured in at 53 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it spun all the way up to a maximum of 54 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 77 degrees Celsius. I also measured the bottom back cover in 100% load with the performance fan and the hottest area on the back cover measured in at 56 degrees Celsius. Unlike the hot temperatures that's recorded, which is between the secondary screen and the top of the keyboard, this is not an area you normally touch. So where the keyboard and the trackpad is, where you type, it's actually relatively quite cool. So you shouldn't actually feel any of that heat unless you actually put this computer on your lap, which I don't really suggest because it is quite hot. This computer should not be put on your lap at all when it's running. Now, as for the fan noise, it may sound quite a lot because it does spin its fan even at 20% load. Now you can put it in whisper mode, which basically turns the fans pretty much off most of the way through and you actually don't hear this fan off. So you do have that selection, but you do sacrifice performance when you do put in whisper mode. Here's the results of the benchmarks. This particular ZenBook Pro 14 Dual is configured with an i7 12700H processor with 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, and also the GeForce RTX 3050 Ti discrete graphics. Here's the results of all pass mark, Bench R23, PC mark, 3D mark, Geekbench 5, Crystal Disk Mark, Procon Office, Procon Photo Edit, Procon Video Edit, Pugin Photoshop, Pugin Lightroom, Pugin Premiere Pro, Pugin DaVinci Resolve, Fur Mark, Lux Mark, Octane Bench, Eugene Engine, and Spec View Pref. And some gamey benchmarks like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Far Cry 6 
Cyberpunk 2077. And F1 2022. Asus have definitely made great thermals to actually release the full power of the performance components on this ZenBook Pro 14 Dual. Absolutely fantastic. Overall, the ZenBook Pro 14 Dual has absolutely fantastic dual displays. They're great for photo and video editing, even the bottom secondary display the screen pad plus can actually do photo and video editing work as well and having a dual display with you everywhere gives you great ability to multitask and giving you extra productivity work absolutely fantastic i love the design of it it's got a great keyboard and even though this trackpad smaller but very usable still got good performance out of this and it does run a little hot but you actually don't feel this as it is really running behind the secondary display so you really don't touch that area anyway and we've got a good selection of ports and got good speakers as well absolute great dual screen laptop now i hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it if you did even support my channel smash that like button for me and if you really want to help me out a little more share it around as well too and as always imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting and i'll see you next video